The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but... Well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. I guess I should go find Paul. Paul. Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear you. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. <laughs> That's vaguely ominous. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, come can you on, go home Amy, yet? call it a night. The protest seemed like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft... ...then you can just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How? Sorry, I gotta meet my friend, but um, keep fighting. All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. <laughs> 